Welcome to Indie Resources 23rd video on how to make a browser based MORG. Um, this is Halls Bahala. Where we're going to start it here is the two of the biggest requests I've gotten here lately is for a PM system, a private message system between the players, and a guild system. And those kind of also help define it being an MMO. So let's, let's go ahead and get those knocked out and get something made. We're going to start with the PM system. A private messaging system is really easy to make. Um, we can use just standard PHP. It shouldn't take us long. I'm going to do this live, so like I do have another game that that I've built one for, and we're I'm going to kind of bring it over a little bit and use some of that code, so I'm not sitting here writing from scratch. So, but I will be you know basically building it live. So I am going to make mistakes, but the good thing is, is when you see me make a mistake, at least you'll know where that mistake's coming from in case you make the same one or whatever else. So let's get started. The first thing I was thinking. So let's just put a profile page down here so they can actually click and go to like a profile or uh, something like that. And, and we'll start that as being the profile. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open up our... You have to bear with me. I don't. It's been a while since I've worked on this game, so I, I can't remember where some things are at, but we'll find them. Um, I'm just going to drop down here and add a... Add a profile link to a page. We don't need that. I'm just kind of copied and pasted to make it easier, so I'm not writing at all. Profile. So let's see if that works. Okay, there's our new link. Of course, it's not ready, so let's um, let's create a new page. We're gonna make it PHP create, and I, we want it to look like our index page. So let's shoot over here to our index page and let's drag and drop all the way down to right there. I don't want none of that mess. Um, which I call a mess. Doc types are important, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to mess with doc types. Um, so let's save this and make sure. Let me make sure I'm in the right directory. You see, I have a million and five games that I'm working on right now. Uh, tutorial. And then let's save it as profile. Whoops. Profile dot php okay we're safe so let's check it out and see if it works there's our profile it's a blank canvas of our profile page um, so anything below this is going to be added to that main thing now if I go over here to my this is this is from a different game profile I'm just gonna make a basic real quick system here's a sim I'm gonna copy and paste this I'm gonna cheat a little bit but I'll still explain it <coughs> Here's a send private message. It's basically just a form that's going to give you a place to put a subject, a name. The only thing we want to change is before I had a drop down list of all the players and I had guilds mixed in it, which we will do. We're not ready for that yet. So I want to kind of get rid of this hidden value right here. And instead, we're going to put in a text box. Um, and you just have to enter in the player's name or you can copy and paste, which we'll change later. But for now, um, let's put a uh, receiver. I guess would be all right. Or send to. Let's do that. Send to. And let's do the size doesn't size only needs to be about 21. We'll call it. Uh, we'll call this receiver. Okay. Let's. This looks like it's a little. I don't know why we need that. Let's pop this in here. Whoops. Dang it. Let's just close out our form. Right there. Actually, let's not. Let's go ahead and keep that. Change my mind. And action profile. Submit. No, we don't need this. I was thinking about putting a back button. Uh, you know what, we better, just because if somebody comes in here and they, they actually went to the wrong place, they're going to want to come back, or go back, so let's just be able to bring them back. So let's test this out. Refresh. Okay, we got brackets on 58. So it looks like... Ah, I'm going to explain it. Okay, so there's our send private message, and let's test out our go back. Why didn't that work? Let's end our form for one thing. Hmm. Let's see where the problems that uh, oh we didn't end our form here. That's why.
There we go. So now we can go back. Now we can go to our profile. Sorry, my headset fell off. It's going to make for some nice noise or <laughs> nobody's expecting it. Um, so basically, we're going to be typing in our subject. We're going to be typing in uh, our message, and then we're going to be saying who we want to send it to. Right now, it's not going to do anything because we we have we don't really have it doing anything. Um, we are going to have it send back to the profile page. So what we want to do is I'm going to let this run the way that is, but I want to do a um, if is set, and then we're going to do a post variable. And we're going to do our submit button. So, well, actually, we don't want to do submit because we may have more than one submit. So, I would say send message. So, if when we hit that, when we hit the submit button, it's going to post back to profile, but it's going to have these post variables in here. If the send message is, is set, then we're, we're going to want to run this code, which is going to be our code that we're actually going to send the message to. So, First thing, of course, we want to do is um, message equals um, name is message. So we'll do post message. And our subject, we're going to want to do that. Let's just cheat a little bit. And basically, this is just posting it to here, so and putting them in this variable, so we can add it to the database later. And then our receiver. Okay. So now that we have those posted. Now we're actually going to want to put them in the database. So I'm going to go back here and cheat a little more, and I'm going to put where. And as you see, it's kind of the thing, same thing I did there. Um, we're going to copy this to about right there. And we also want a date. Go back to our profile. And here's the code for it. I didn't feel like having to type all that out. Um, so basically, we're just making a simple query. Um, Let's break this down where you can tell. Insert into messages, which we haven't created yet. We're going to the um, the ID, the sender, the message, the subject. Um, give it a randed, so we need to go ahead and create a randed equals rand. Let's do 999 through 999999, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, looks like 7. Okay, and then we just need to fix this variable right here. Oops. Okay, so we have the receivers, what we need to change here. So it's going to be put in the receiver. The sender is going to, of course, be the person who's sending it. The message, the subject, the randed, and then the ma message date. And then it's going to tell you the message was sent whenever it is. Um, I'm actually going to take this and put it above this so that way it when you send it I'll kind of show you how it works it, it'll still print this for like a second message or whatever but it'll kind of go up above message sent we may want to move it here later but let's go to the database now so we want to create a new table and call it messages number fields let's go back to our so we're gonna have our one two three four five six fields Six, go. So the first one's going to be PID, which is going to be the, the player's ID, which is technically going to be their name. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I can think right now that we need to do is we need to check to see if that player e even exists. So, but we'll do that later. Um, let's do let's do subject first, so it's in line. Subject message branded. Come on. Um, date and what was the other one? What I forget. PID. Oh, sender. I'll put sender last. So 
bar care of, we'll just make it 21. Subject, um, how many lines did we did we allow on our subject? We allowed 44. So we're going to do, oops, bar care for, you could probably do this as text. Let's do this as text right here. And the message, of course, is going to be text. You don't have to put anything as far as that. Integer, let's put 7. Uh, let's make it 8 just to be on the safe side. Date, I'm hoping this is going to work right. I can't remember if I, if I did that right. Actually, instead of actually putting the now date, let's do this. We could do an as defined and then do a current times. Actually, just do a current time stamp of the actual date, and that would work better than our code of trying to insert the now date. So whenever that message is actually created, it will enter it. Let's get rid of that. Back to our database, which means we can get rid of the the date. Or I mean, we we still need to keep the date. And then our sender is going to be the bar carrier, and then 21, and that should take care of us. Mm, invalid value for date. My bad. Like I said, there's going to be lots of little errors in here that I'll have to fix. I'm going to go ahead and set this as an index and basically all that does is it kind of puts it in a row by the PID. It helps your database run faster and, and, and pick things up faster and be able to it'll it'll select it'll since you're looking for the PID anyway it will actually have that in order by PID and make it a little faster for you. So now that we got that inserted we got all that ready well, let's go ahead and test it. I'm not sure it's going to work but let's do a subject uh, test message. Let's do a subject of, hey, did this work? And let's send it to myself. Message sent. You see how it just kind of puts that up there and yet you can still send another one right off. Now the real test is if it actually worked in the database. And there you go. There's our date, our time, the sender, the message, the subject, and the PID. So now what we got to do is we've got to, I want to put another little thing here, maybe on the side of profile. Now let's go ahead and do messages. And it'll it'll actually show up as like a one or something if there's a message there if, for, for unread messages. Um, and that's one thing that we are missing off the database, which we're going to add here in a second. So the next thing we want to go to is go back to our stat panel and let's look at here now we're gonna call this we're gonna we're gonna keep it profile we're gonna make a new we're gonna make, we're gonna add this and call it messages equals one and then we're gonna do messages. Now one thing I'm going to add to it and I'm going to pull it from over here is um, it's actually in my stat panel. What we want to do is we're going to create let's see where am I at? Okay here we go. We're actually going to make it to where it tells you if you have an unread message. Um, I'm going to post, I'm going to put this in here but I'm going to erase a lot of it. Okay we're going to select PID for messages where PID equals the player so in other words where it's you and read message equals one now here's the one thing we got to add to this so let's go back to our database and let's go to structure and we're going to add one at the end and we're going to call it read message we're going to make it a tiny integer because it's going to be a, a boolean it's basically going to be one or zero and it's going to be one long and the default is going to be one. That means the default, it means it is unread automatically as soon as it's created. Now we do need to go in and make ours unread. It already did, so default. So that means that message is unread. So if we go back here, we will see with this it's going to it's going to select anything that's unread in there. While there is something i equals i plus one. Now one thing I do want to do is I'm going to go ahead and define that variable like I was showing you earlier i equals zero. Just to, just to define it and say hey it's there but it's zero. Now what we're going to do is for every message that's in there i is going to be i plus one so we're going to add a message so it's going to tell you how many messages you have. Once it's done then we're going to do if i is greater than zero which means all it means is if you have a message 
then we're actually going to post this. And I'm going to do it to where else it still echoes the messages, but you just don't have any new messages. So I kind of kind of threw that in there kind of funny, so let's make sure it's going to work. Let's test it. Refresh. Continue. And there you go. I have one message. Now let's go ahead and make the message thing so we can read this. And I'm actually going to do that in the next video.